a great strategy has to answer a fundamental question about who are we going to be, how are we going to create advantage. And you do this with three different things. One is what is your value proposition to the market? The second is your differentiated capabilities. This is critical because you can make the promise to the market about your value proposition, but you've got to have the wherewithal in order to execute it and live that value proposition. And the third is your portfolio of products and services. What are the elements of your business that are going to align behind the value proposition and actually benefit from the capabilities that you're investing in so you're not distracted chasing lots of different growth avenues? When you've got these three questions answered, you can have tremendous transformation and tremendous growth because your entire organization knows what they're doing. They're well aligned behind the purpose. They have the capabilities to win and they know it. That's right, Paul. And you can not just transform your company with a great strategy, but you can transform your industry. And we've looked at industry after industry and we see the emergence of super competitors. And these super competitors are not winning because of their geographic position or their market position or their assets. They're winning because of their capability system. If you think about it, being able to do that, being able to build these capabilities and compete with these capabilities means weaving together people and process and technology and know-how. And that's very difficult to do. That's bringing together messy, complicated things. But once you've done it, others can't buy off the shelf. Once you've built something like that, a winning capability system, then you have real advantage. And that is what it will enable you to be a super competitor and transform the industry around you. Well, a great example of a super competitor is Semex. And this is a company that really played for a long time as a commodity player. It is cement after all. But during the Great Recession, the housing industry took a huge hit and they really had to look inward and say, who are we going to be? How are we going to differentiate? How are we going to create value? And they understood that if they got closer to their customers, essentially becoming a solutions provider, helping their customers make more money, understanding the nature of how customers were using cement, moving that back into innovation to change their product, they would create a huge amount of value. And in fact, in the years since the Great Recession, Semex has done incredibly well as a super competitor. Frito-Lay uh, wins in salty snacks and many others have tried to compete with them and haven't been able to take much share. And the reason for that is that Frito-Lay built a winning capability system quite a while ago, and they have an amazing direct store delivery capability, and they have a motivated sales force that is able to sell in salty snacks up and down the street. And it was the first use of handheld technology to get the job done. And they could read what was selling in stores, and they could understand how to innovate and how to change uh, product flavors, and then have immediate response back into the plants. I love the Frito-Lay story because in particular, they take their capabilities so seriously. They understand that's the basis of differentiation and the basis for why they win. So they're actually innovating the capabilities themselves. That handheld technology has gone through so many different versions. Now they build an amazing analytics to help the driver do the right sets of things in store. They use digital technology to actually save time. When you define a company by what you do rather than what you sell, you create huge advantage and that's a great example of what Frito-Lay has done. Pfizer Consumer Healthcare. Story starts in 2000. Pfizer acquires Warner Lambert for the blockbuster drug Lipitor, $115 billion. But with that came a big consumer business that spanned everything from confectionery all the way into over-the-counter drugs. And Pfizer Consumer Healthcare was able to make the three big decisions in terms of how they were going to create value and capture that. And they committed to winning with products that had claims associated with them. And then they went through that portfolio and decided what fit and what didn't. And bet on only the products and the brands that would benefit, that would thrive in the capability system that they had designed. Pfizer was able to sell the business for $16.6 .6 billion or almost 21 times EBITDA. And the reason for this is that they had built a growth engine. The capability system that they had built was driving growth that was twice what anybody else was able to do in the market. Well, IKEA is a company that we all know and love. It is an iconic super competitor because they are able to bring design and furniture down to price points that everyone can afford. And in fact, that was the mission of its founder. But a mission statement and a value proposition is nothing if you don't have the capabilities that go along with it. So what capabilities do they have? They do product design like no one does it. They understand the entire cost of the value chain. So the designers, they're actually thinking about how a product should be formed, its shape, its material, understands the cost implications. Their supply chain is incredibly efficient so they can transport these heavy items all around the world. And their merchandising capabilities are really unique. So they're able to take this value proposition, build some amazing capabilities, and really have had an amazing growth story ever since. These are great stories and they demonstrate the power of strategy. And if you're clear-minded about what you're going to do better than anyone else, 
And if you make that practical and actionable because you've thought through that capabilities question and you've translated the strategic into the everyday, then you too can transform your company and you can transform your industry. Thank <laughs> you.